Good day everyone, you are welcome to my tutorial channel. I am Peter MNJ Adabiruku. Uh, today I want to, in continuation of our tutorial on SW maps, so I want to show you how to number one create project in SW map, then how to import templates into SW map, and how to add shape file to SW maps. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So let's go to our main screen. Now, the first thing to do, please ensure that your internet connectivity is on and also enable your locations. So once you have done this, uh, you can now go to our screen and look for SW map and launch it. So this is SW map icon. If you can't find it on your main screen, you click on the list of your apps and you will find it and click on it to launch it. So let me click on it to launch it. Uh, remember in our previous uh, uh, tutorial, please, if you don't have a, if you have not watched that video, you can just go to GeoJGI Solutions and view that video. Uh, there is a video we did on introduction to SW Maps interface. So go to JoJGIS Solution. You see uh, JoJGIS Solution tutorial channel. You see introduction to SW Maps. So what we are doing today is continuation of of uh, that previous uh, tutorial. Now when you launch SW Maps, it will show you something like this as default. It will ask you whether to continue with project one project one is a default if you have other projects it will list that project and tell ask you whether i want to continue with any of them so now remember that um one of our number one thing we want to do uh, let's go back to here the first thing we want to do is to create how to create projects so now once you launch the sw map like i have done here sorry just like the one I've done here. So once you launch it, we want to open a new project. So what to do is to click here. Once you click here, you want to create new project. You click on new. So once you click on new, uh, it will ask you what is the name of the project. So you name the project according to your own, uh, your own project title or whatever. But let's just call this one uh, Okene uh, Ihima. Ihima Road. Okay, Ihima Road as our project title. Now there is something here. On the normal day, each project has its own templates. The templates talk about what are the things you want to capture in that project. In fact, templates can be likened to like a questionnaire. When you are going to the field, what are the things you want to collect on the field? That is what templates talk about. So each project has its own template. The things features you want to record. Uh, what, so the templates captures everything so that when you go to the field you have guidelines on what to collect so once you click here you are supposed to have template here but because I have not imported templates into SW maps that's why it's not showing here so as it is now I, I have no templates but I can still create a project so if I click on create it will automatically create the project See, if you look at he, here now, you can now see Okene Ihima Road. But as at it is now, I have no templates. So on the normal day, has it been I have template? Once I click on this layer, this icon called layer, I'm supposed to see the templates here. All the templates are supposed to display here. But since I don't have a template, uh, I can't do anything much with this project I've created. But this is how to create a new project. You have created, you have labeled it, but you must bring in the templates with that project so that by the time you want to start recording features, start taking features, it is that template you'll be following. So, as at it is now, I've created the template. To delete this, I mean, created a project. To delete it, you come to these three dots. Once you click on it, you see projects. So, when you click on projects, you see Ihima Okene Road. This project one is a default project. When you open SW map, this project one will be there. So if you have series of projects created, it will be listed here. Now, if you want to delete any project, for example, let's say I want to delete this Ihima, okay, Ihima road I created. You just click on this icon 
and it will be you say click yes so when you click yes it will be deleted you can now close this tray so you see that that okay Hima road has been deleted and the default project is the one showing now the second things you want to do is how to import templates now how do we import templates into sw maps so to do that we will go back to our sw maps interface so to import templates come to this icon that templates you see that somebody copy it for you or the project manager give you the template they will give you and depending on how you receive it whether you copy it or you downloaded it whatever so you, to import it you click on this icon see when you click on this icon you scroll down you see import project import templates so the one we want to do now is to import templates you click on here import template it will ask you where the template is uh, me i receive this template through bluetooth so if i click on here click on bluetooth see this is the template inventory template that i receive so for sw map so i will click on for example uh this one and i will uh, let me just use one i have to so i have selected one and i'll click select so in template install template has been installed now now uh now that i've installed templates now let's now create a new project now i will see uh what i mean by template installation so to create a new temp a new project now that i have a template i want to use so is to come back to these three dots and you see projects to create a new project see this plus icon click on it it means you want to create a new project so the new project i want to use is a road name let's say i want to take features along the road so i have a road that i want to use and the, i want to name this project according to the name of the road so i'll just say 2121 21, um dash zero 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 forty seven b mondo g road so this is the name of my project i'm naming it after my road name so that it will not be confusing to me because i can have as many as possible so now i've named the project now if you now come here and click on here you see template is now appearing because i've imported templates to this sw map if i click on templates see automatically it will select the template that i have if i have series of templates the template will be listed here so i'll now choose the one i want now that i have only one the first one is selected uh i will, I will now click on create when i click on create it will be loaded so it is, has been created see see the project 2121 dash 00047d madoji road that is the name of the road and i also name it as my project that i want to work on so i can now close this chapter uh you can see now it has been loaded here so now the second thing i mean third thing we want to do is how to now import shape file now that we have created it we have loaded in we have created the temp, uh, project we have imported templates so how do we now add shape file to SW map so that we can be able to work on it or capture features on that shape file? So to do that, now you must have a shape file. The shape file I have that I want to use here, somebody sent it to me and it's named uh, 2121-0047B Madoji. Somebody sent it to me on WhatsApp. So to do that, I can let me go to main screen let me go to main screen and show you how to do that so to load in click uh let me click here i'll go to my file manager file manager okay so when i open my file manager i will go to internal uh internal storage i'll click on internal storage here to open my internal story so the the shape file i want to use somebody sent it to me on whatsapp and i have downloaded it so because it's on whatsapp i'll go to android depending on your phone 
the navigation to where it is depends on your phone i'll go to android i'll go to my media uh i'll go to com.whatsapp i'll go to whatsapp i'll click on media again and you see whatsapp documents so the person that sent it to me i sent it as a document i'll click on whatsapp documents then this is the shape file but it's in a zip folder the zip is so that all the supporting file will not be missing so i'll click on it because it's a, shape, it's a zip file i click on it and it asks me to extract i'll click on extract to extract the shape file into a free folder so once i extract it takes few moments to extract this now that it is extracted i'll click on done so once i click on done the the i can now navigate up to see where hey, this is it you know this is the one that is zip once i extracted it it will create a folder i'll click on it to see the files shape files and supporting files that are inside that folder Okay, let's wait a bit for it. Okay, so once it opens, the folder opens. These are the, the name of the row, the shape file and the supporting file that I have here. So what to do? Since you want to import it to SWMAP, you select one. I mean, you select all. So let me select one and then click here and select all. All this, the shape file and the supporting file, you have to... So, I mean copy all of them click here and copy to or move to whichever one you want to use so I want to copy to so when copy to when you install SWMAP it creates a directory on your internal storage where you can put other things supporting file or whatever I want to use you can put it in so I've copied all this shape the shape file and the supporting file I'll click on internal storage so when I click on internal storage, see you see SWMAP. This is the directory of SWMAP. I'll click on SWMAP. See it is a a a a a a shape file that I copied. So I'll come to maps. See, it is a shape file. See here, shape file. I'll click on shape file. Then I'll click on copy here. Once I click on copy here, all the files I copied, the shape file and the supporting file. Is now copied and pasted in SWMAP shape file uh, directory. So now that I've done this, now I can now go back to my SWMAP. Let's go to SWMAP. SWMAP. You know, we have created the project name. I mean, the project you have named it according to the road we want to use. Now that you have done this now, now what to do is that. You come to this layer to to add this shape file to SWMAP. You see now, once I click on layer, because I've imported templates, you can see the templates. The template is talking about all the features I want to capture. Template depends on the project we are running. So each project may have its own template. So this template for this very one uh, that I have captures a lot of them because it's a road. It can have bridge, bus stop, causeway, cross infrastructure, covered, education facilities, health facility, holy place, and a whole lot of things like that in this template. Now, what to do? We want to bring in uh, that road, which is a shape file, into SWMAP. So, what you do is you click on this plus sign. So, it will ask you which type of file do you want to bring in. It is a shape file. If it is a geo package, you have a lot of. Um, format but the one we want to bring in is a shape file you click on shape file so when you click on shape file because i have copied that the shape file and i pasted it in the directory of sw map that's why automatically it will, be, it will be showing the shape file i have here now the shape file consists of origin and road this is the name the code road code and road id for this road madoji shinkafi uh, uh, road so we have the origin and we have the road so you load it one by one you click on here to load in the uh, to add the origin you click on add the origin will be added see it has been added then you click on here again to add another 
it is a shape file you click on shape file and this time around we want to add the road so you click on road and you click on add so when you click on add you have added it now to this very project you created you cannot close this uh, page then you can come here now come and uh, zoom to let's zoom to extent if you click on zoom to extent see this is the road zoom to extent this is the road but you may not see it very well you can change the color to do that you come back to this layer see for example this very road you click on it you see these settings this icon you click on it uh, once you click on it it will display something like this then uh, you click on this to change the color so let's say you want to change the color to let's say uh, red let's say you want to change it to this red click on ok so let's say you want to increase it increase so that it can be visible you click on ok and you click on ok then the origin also you can change the symbology click here and uh, you see the symbology so if you want to change the symbol or uh, color maybe you want me to be filled and you want to change the color from this uh, blue you want to change it to uh, green uh, you want to use this green you click on ok and you click on ok so once you click on this ok it has been changed there you cannot close this so this is our road see this road and this is the origin so you can of course zoom in and zoom out so this is the road and this is the origin so if you click on here on this road click on it, this road it will display the layer name which means the uh, the layer name and the road name is Madoji Shinkafi the length is 4 km the origin is at Madoji it belongs to Kastana LGA and this is the code this is the road type is a rural road the LGA state code all other informations will be displayed likewise if you click on the origin it will also show you the information about the origin so please remember to subscribe to this uh, channel uh, this is how to this is how to create projects import templates and add shape file to SW maps so in the next tutorial, we'll be talking of how to now take features, record features on SW Maps. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.